right here, bro. Some taco shellage. Taco shellage. Iceberg lettuce. Ground turkey. What we got in there? We got some uh, salsa. Low fat sour cream. Some straight cheese and that's it. Let's get into it. Thank you, no more to come in. We got no more to come back with another video. Oh, look, my G's. I hope y'all well, bro. Hope everybody doing well. Hope everybody feeling good. Listen, my listen, my G's. I got a lot of stuff coming up. That's gonna be real special. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna enjoy. A lot of experience blogs coming. I low key could have blogged the whole day today. Today was a little cool movie. You know what I'm saying? I went to play the finish today. Just took over. You know what I'm saying? When you just got that aura, my nigga. When you just got that. You just got that aura. You just got that charisma, bro. You just you just different. They just can't stop looking. They just want to know who is that nigga right there with that fucked up ponytail. There's something about him we don't know. You take over, bro. Take over the spaces you at, bro. How do, how do you do that? How do you do that? Over time, I ain't have a mic. I was in a Chevy playing Savage Life. <laughs> <laughs> Quote to Nipsey Hussle. It's over time, nigga. Work in silence and you, and you go hard in public, my nigga. I'm about to add some of these in here, though. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a bite first, though. Because I will be smacking those differently. You hear me? Fire. Fire. Missing a little crunch like I knew it was. I'm happy I picked these up. Avocado oil, kettle cooked. You know what I'm saying? Vegan. You know what I'm saying? Vegan products in here. No dairy products in here. So cool. These are a little on the pricey side. for Just for the size of it, it's like $3. This is just like a, a 5.5 ounce bag, not a 16 ounce or anything like that. Real expensive. Like I said, though, it costs to eat. To eat will save your gut, my nigga. Yeah! It costs to eat. The best, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna crunch these up. I'm just gonna throw these in here. A little bit, though. These chips are sweet. These, these high quality chips, my nigga. I can crush them up my spoon. You know what I'm saying? Smack on nose a little lighter. You feel me? Y'all want me to get a chip? Got you. I know how y'all is. I just like I just sitting there wondering, like, hey, you gonna get a chip for us? Fire. My favorite one, bro. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, G. Flago. The Flago ones is so fucking good. It reminds you of them hot chips y'all like, bro. But these, these Flago ones is way better for y'all, G. So, when you ever have the urge to eat some hot fries, hot Cheetos, just have a chance to look at this app I'm about to pop up on the screen. All right? So, what is this app? What is this app? Omar, what is this app? If you listen, I'm about to tell you, G. So, this app I just pop up on the screen, it will tell you everything that shit, them hot Cheetos and shit they have, and like, what they got in there. You know what I'm saying? So, all you got to do is have the app, go to the little scan thing, we just get the barcode. Skin your hot Cheetos, your hot pups, yeah, whatever y'all niggas be eating. Look at the shit that's in there. They got shit in that stuff that could kill you, my nigga. That's the reason why I don't eat that shit. I don't eat unhealthy snacks no more. I stopped doing that shit years ago, like long time ago. I cut it off completely. Then when I come back, I'm like, where? What is some healthy snacks I can eat? This brand right here, the the Sinus, the Sinus brand right here. I don't know if it's gonna focus for y'all. That brand is good. It's a, it's a whole bunch of brands, bro, that y'all never heard before. That's that's way healthy, way healthier than the shit we eat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially as urban community people. Urban community means everybody. Everybody that's from urban communities. I'm not saying black people, Mexicans, Hispanics, and shit like that. I'm talking about everybody, my nigga. You from urban communities, you used to eating bullshit. That's all they got in the, in the corner stores, the drive throughs and all the shit we be going to. Change your lifestyle, my nigga. You gonna feel better and look better, my nigga. You gonna appear to be better, my nigga. 
all that goofy shit you put in your body, killing yourself, you don't even know. Some people don't even know they consume poison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just missing that crunch. It's that crunch right here. And with the crunch, 10 out of 10. Without the crunch, like an 8. 8. Can't go wrong with taco salad. You know what I'm saying? And, bro. Y'all niggas don't understand, G. I really like live my best life, bro. You know how it feels, my nigga? You just wake up, nigga. Just know that you working towards your shit every day. Your goals, your dreams. You not letting nothing fly past your head. You catching that motherfucker right out the sky. So it's a come by. You catching that motherfucker. Every time you drop by, give me that shit, nigga. Do you know how that feels, bro? I don't think some people know how that shit feels, bro. So you waking up every day, you you can't you can't do nothing. You scared to do something. Your parents telling you to go to college, nigga, when you want to go, you want to drop out and become a YouTuber. You, they want you to do this. They want you to be, they want you to be a, a warehouse manager. They want you to do this. They want you to be a makeup designer. My nigga, but you want to do something else. Do it. I'm telling you, bro. You on your, you going to be on your deathbed, bro. Regretting everything. Fuck. I should have I should have went overseas, became a hooper. Fuck! I should have went to go do that. Why I ain't chase this bag and stop chasing this fucking? Bitch? That don't want me. Why? Why do we do the things we do? We don't know. But I'm telling you, bro, it's never too late. I see niggas that's 40 years old that's now changing their life. 40 years old getting out of a toxic 12 year relationship with their wife, girlfriend they've been dealing with, no value in their life. Nothing but drama and pain and, and ignorance in your life, my nigga. Shit you don't got to deal with in a life. They 40 years old. Now, now making, now making, doing, not, not even making, it's not about the money. Y'all niggas don't get it. It's not about the money. It's about the experience, bro. That's all you're looking for when you gone, bro. When you gone, nigga, they ain't going to talk about how much money you made. They talking about the experience, what you did, my nigga. How was you an impact to the kids? How was you an impact to the to your community? How was you an impact to the people, bro? Did the people love you? Did the people hate you? Was you evil, motherfucker? Was you a good motherfucker? That's all they look at. They don't look at, bro. They don't look at how much money you made. Nobody gives a fuck. You can't take none of this shit with you. I can't take this white tee with me. I can't take this chain with me. I can't, I can't, I can't take none of this shit with me. I can't take all the money I made with me. I can't take my game and set up with me. I can't take my, my Omar sign with me, my nigga. You can't take none of this shit with you. Live your best life, bro. It's only going to be one you. It's going to be a thousand of the same motherfuckers walking around every day. Scared to get out their comfort zone. Stuck on that one piece of, piece of pussy. G, plan on leaving that nigga soon, G. That baller nigga that's chasing his dreams, focus on his chicken baggage, keep calling her phone late at night. She going in the bathroom. <laughs> Who you talking to? Oh, nothing. I'm watching TikTok. She ain't watching no fucking TikTok, nigga. She going to find something. She going to find a nigga that's doing what you can't do. You got to become unreplaceable, bro. Not just to the ladies, to yourself. Do some shit like, wow, I really did that? Wow. That was really me? <laughs> I know, man. I know, man. You know what's healthy, bro? They tell you getting a therapist is healthy, but what's real life healthy is you speaking your mind, telling the truth to the people. That you want to look out for the most. The niggas that's with you daily, they already know what you're about. But sometimes you better come on here, whatever platform you want. If you're not on no platform, bro, the niggas you work with, you just got to tell them, bro. Like, hey, we all go through some shit, bro. Keep a smile on your face. Keep your head up. My nigga, keep your chest out. Speak with your soul, nigga. That's the difference between me and a lot of other people. I speak of myself. People, that's why people are so attracted to me. Some people, that's why people love me, bro. 
man, it's hundreds of niggas I, I don't know, probably thousands of niggas I don't know that know my face. But it's like one thing they can't say about me is he the same like everybody else. He they be like he's different. I genuinely speak for myself. I won't tell you no shit I won't do. I'm not gonna be no hypocrite towards you, bro. Me and my bro was just talking about this shit. Motherfuckers promoting. They they get sponsorships for millions of dollars for Gatorades and shit like that, and they don't drink themselves. I see these healthy motherfuckers all the time. Like, real life healthy motherfuckers. I ain't talking about niggas that just go to the gym two times a week and tell his fans he work out. Real life healthy motherfuckers promote some bullshit to their fans just for a million dollar sponsorship, bro. It's a million dollars or worse a million dollars. But these your niggas, though, they look up to you. When you drop a video, they click your video. They getting you paid, my nigga. You selling them out for a million dollars sponsorship, nigga, that you wouldn't get without them? Nigga, fuck you, nigga. That's how I feel, bro. That's for every single content creator after that do that shit. Fuck you, nigga. I would never do that to my niggas. Ever. When I put this on my soul, nigga, on my uncle that's tattooed on me. I told my brother, I said, I ain't selling on my people. Because that's how much I really fuck with them. And that's how much I'm real to myself. Let them niggas come to me if they want to. They can offer me $20 million. I'll tell them niggas no. Straight like that. Leave that on the table. I'm good, G. But I ain't gonna lie. Sinbird hit me up, though. Sinbird. You know what I'm saying? Sinbird. Fit me up. Yeah, all the healthy companies. You know what I'm saying? That real life is healthy. You know, real life doing positive shit out here. Hit me up. I promote all y'all niggas. For that bullshit shit y'all be mainstreaming. Don't get out of my face. You can offer me all the money in the world. I'm cool, G. I got my niggas. I already have my niggas in anybody. You feel me? Thank y'all for come kicking with me. Thank y'all for having dinner with me. Lunch. Whenever I post this. Take care of yourself, bro. Like I said... My platforms, I be on. It's all down in the link below. Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Everything I've been on. I recently download TikTok back in Facebook so I can be on there more. Yeah, everyone to contact me, man. Just hit me a DM. You want to chat up with me? You want to talk about some serious shit? You got some, life, you got some real life shit going on? Hit me up. Conversation won't hurt, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Oh.